Um, hello and welcome. In the previous video, you, you have seen what comes when the you usually go to package. And today, we'll be taking one of the features of the go to robot to do the problem feature. Uh, we have prepared a short map for the robot and it's ready to put it up. So, and we are ready to go. For this demonstration, we use AD mode in order to control the robot. Here you can see once again uh, how the robot can see the surroundings. So the program uses uh, the LiDAR sensor, which is in front, uh, to map all the obstacles. And you can see between the LiDAR mode and the camera mode in order to see what's going on. Here. So, in order to access the programming, we use a function and go to programming. Previously, we have prepared a short program which involves the robot going around this room and repeating the sequence. So let's play it out so we can you can start with the start uh, function and let the robot first run and walk in front for 3 meters, then make a left turn, move forward, perform an action, you can specify any action that you would like to perform additionally, then repeat once again to the left, uh, go straight up another 3 meters, perform a move, but uh, it can also be, let's say if you have any additional payloads, you can uh, ask the robot to, uh, let's say, take a picture, uh, we can make it I take a picture, let's say after it showed it rotated, we can take another picture. And um, you can choose between different modes, of course. You can add the media uh, mode that it's going to be either uh, walking like the stairs, slowly walking or running, and performing the moves. So we'll go back to our code and let's see here on the screen you can see small implementation if you have to in the simulator we'll see what the, uh, the simulator performs. So we have the code here and we'll see how the robot is able to execute. So um, here we can see that the robot completed the mission and almost returned to its initial position. And this short demo shows you how to use the program feature on the GoPro robot. Important to say here that uh, in this uh, one using program mode, the robot won't go to the So now we displace some of the boxes and we'll see how the robot behaves whilst it has an optimal on its way.
Now you can see here that uh, the robot is not able to execute the mission, but once again, in this feature, the robot won't have any obstacle weapons. The last test, we will see to what extent uh, the robot can safely return to its initial position. Now we will say, we will see how much drift is when the robot executes its mission. We will try to make a square. So we move forward 2.5 meters, then we turn left, uh, go forward by 1 meter, turn another from left, go back 2.5 meters, and another 1 meter forward, and then it should initially reach our new starting position, which is marked by tape. Let's see how long we can So you can see that the robot uh, will have a slight drift uh, whilst performing the missions, but this can be designed to be solved with an additional three level sensor on board to not be uh, purchased to generate the robot.